and welcome to Storytime with JBL. We're going to read a squash and a squeeze. A squash and a squeeze. By Julia Donaldson, illustrated by Axel Scheffler. And this is the second book of the Julia Donaldson series. A little old lady lives all by herself. Aww. With a table and chairs. And a jug on the shelf. She was like, Aww. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe she's lonely. Wise old man heard her grumble and growl. There's not enough room in my house. Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Oh. Take in your hen, said the wise old man. Take in my hen? What a curious fat pan. Well, the hen laid an egg on the fireside rug. Ooh, maybe she could make, maybe she, maybe she could make boiled eggs. Or scrambled eggs and flapped around the room knocking over the jug. Oh no, the jug, it's gonna break. Oh no. And it's broken. The little old lady cried. What shall I do? It was pokey for one and it's tiny for two. My nose is tickled and there's no room to sneeze. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take in your goat, said the wise old man. Take in my goat, what a curious man. Well, the goat chewed the curtains and trod on the egg. Oh no, now they can't make boiled eggs or scrambled eggs. Well, they already did, but that doesn't look like a nice meal. Especially because it was cooked by a goat. Who would want to eat food cooked by a goat? Who would want to eat food cooked by a goat? And then sat down to nibble the table. Goat? You nibbling the table leg? Oh, man. The table's gonna break too. The little old lady cried, Glory be! It was tiny for two and it Catch it for free. The hen pecks the goat. The hen pecks the goat and the goat got pleased. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, Why so glad? Won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Uh, Take your pig, said the wise old man. Take in my pig, what a curious pan. So she took in her pig who kept chasing the hen. Oh no. The pig is like, <laughs> and, the, and the hen's like, <laughs> wait, what sound did, did, did they make? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and reading the larder again and again. Okay, pause. They, they have lots of vocabulary words in this book, in, in this series. Remember, in the, in in the first one, one, it was indignant, and now it, and now, it's larder. Larder means like a cupboard to store your food, a really big cupboard to store your food. The little old lady cried, "Stop our implore! It was teeny for, it was teeny for three, and it's teeny for four. Even the pig in the larder agreed." <laughs> And now they're, now they're all raiding the larger. The pig's eating the sugar, and the goat's eating the carrots, and the hen is eating something. Well, I guess we'll never know what the hen was eating. Probably a potato, because the seed of potato has a bite taken out of it. Why, old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. And now they're laying down with their big fat bellies. Full with food. Even the hen is fat. Like, ooh, it's so fat. Take in your cow, said the wise old man. Take in your cow, what a curious plan. 
Well, the cow took one look and shot straight at the pig. Then he jumped on the table and chucked out jig. Cow party. Cow party the little old lady cried If it's alive you would see him of all his way for fun I'm tearing my hair out I'm down to my knees Why not, man? Won't you help me, please? Take the mula, said the wise old man. Then we will be back to well, to where I first began. She opened the window and out flew the hen. Better, at last I can sneeze again. Achoo! <laughs> she shooed out the goat and she shoved out the pig. My house is beginning to feel pretty big. She huffed and she puffed and she pushed out the cow. Just look at my house, it's enormous now. Thank you, old man, for the work you have done. It was a wee need for five, it's gigantic for one. There's no need to grumble and there's no need to grouse. There's plenty of room in my house. And now she's full of frogs and filthy bees. It is no scratching as weeds. Yes, she's full of rattles and little dee dees. Her house is not a squatch and a squeeze. Now it's time for the old lady party. Not a squash and a squeeze it up. It's an old lady party. It's not a squash and a squeeze. It's an old lady party. Yeah, yeah, she's full of love, bright and fizzle, dee dee, yeah, dee 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 The cow may be frowning because he started the party. The goat may be mad and the pig may be indignant, but and the and the hen may not lay eggs for a week. But yet she's full of frolic and fizzle, dee dees, because it is in a squash. Or a squeeze. The end. Did you enjoy the old lady party? Oh man, that was hysterical. And did you enjoy the cow party? Which was best, the cow party or the old woman party? Don't forget, like and subscribe.